Hey, what's up, guys? Born Again here, and welcome back to another episode of Born Again's Week of Spooky Booky Boo. I always, I always get that wrong. It's gonna take a while to get used to, maybe a couple years, but hey, we're back with another episode, and today we're back with another episode of Bully Mysteries and Secrets, Part Six: The Bullworth Stalker. Now, I know what you were probably thinking. What is the Bulwer Stalker? Well, the Bulwer Stalker was a thing that was started back in about January of this year. I figured I'd cover it now because if I didn't have this to cover, I probably wouldn't have anything else to cover in the bully game that's a mystery or a secret that people think that they've found. I've covered pretty much everything there is to cover. So I figured I would take a shot at this because it's very interesting and I'd like to give my own opinion and personal thoughts about it. So. Let's talk a little bit about what this Bullworth stalker thing is in depth and, you know, basically let me tell you everything you need to know. So, ba bam, have a listen. So what this whole Bullworth stalker started off as is a series of videos posted on a channel called Bully2 OSTSS. The channel uploaded several videos that were supposed to tracks from the unreleased and unannounced Bully2. These songs were not tracks from the upcoming game. However, they were rather lesser known songs or stock songs someone found on the internet. One day, the channel uploaded a video called Bullworth News as part of the OST. When you watch the video, it seems like a normal news report sound effect before it abruptly stops and a very loud, almost ear ripe static noise kicks in before various images of weird and unsettling scenarios are played. And yes, as you can tell, it's very disturbing. Somewhere contributing to this weird and ominous video, a list was released showing all of the students at Bullworth and whether or not they were alive, comatose, missing, unknown, or dead. At the end of the list, there is a binary, and the binary leads to a Twitter profile called Bullworth Peter. I'll leave a link in the description below. On Pete's Twitter account, he mentions frequent Bullworth students being killed or tortured. His first tweet is towards Jimmy Hopkins, and is him asking Jimmy where he is because it's been three days since he's seen him. As you read on, Pete mentions students being killed by what Bullworth reports as the Bullworth Stalker. In my opinion, I kind of like the idea of this being an online ARG that people themselves can enjoy. Maybe one day someone in the bully community can actually make it a mod of some sort, or any like playable feature on the game itself. Now, that's what the Bullworth Stalker is in a nutshell. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. So yeah, now that we know what the Bullworth Stalker myth and secret is, we'll decide if it's a myth or not. It definitely is a myth because it's not in the actual game, and it's just more of an ARG that's been formed online. But let's think about this for a second. Let's say Bully 2 is announced, and we all go crazy, as we all would. Bully 2 has officially been announced, and let's just say, in some sort of world, Bully 2 picks up right where the sec first game left off. So Jimmy's gone. He's with his parents. Maybe he's with Zoe too. Maybe he is at a summer camp with his dad, stepdad, and his step-siblings. But the thing is, something happens at Bullworth while Jimmy's away. A mysterious stalker has been known to kill innocent kids and other people around Bullworth. Jimmy comes back to investigate and find out who is who. So that's what I'm going to stick with here. I'm going to stick with the whole thing like what if this was an actual thing? What if the Bullworth stalker was the plot of Bully 2? And that's what the kids had to do is, you know, find discover who the stalker was so keep that in mind but also keep in mind that there have been other people that have died so far when it comes to you know the whole Bulwer stalker thing according to pete's whole thing on twitter the pete twitter account a couple of people have died and a couple people have been seriously injured so we'll just have to see and go from here another thing i'll be doing this in kind of like a tier list kind of form so i'll be you talking about each character whether or not I think they would be a killer whether they would not be a killer or maybe they could be the killer but I don't know it's more of a I don't know kind of situation on that third listing so we'll go through each character not every single character in the game obviously because there's only a, a, a set amount of people I want to go through here mainly just the students and faculty at Borth Academy so let's go ahead and get into this in a very very fun segment so, I didn't really know whether I should put this first or talk about the characters first, but I feel like I should post this first. This is going to be the list of people that are confirmed to be alive, dead, missing, comatose, or unknown. So, this should help decipher who the killer actually is, or the stalker. So, let's start it off. 
Russell Northrup is alive. Johnny Vincent is alive. Ted Thompson is dead. Ernest Jones is also dead. Darby Harrington is missing. Algernon Papadopoulos is alive. Bucky Pasteur is missing. Ted Spencer is dead. Gord Vendome, alive. Hal Esposito, alive. Christy Martin, alive. Angie Comatose. Gloria Jackson is dead. Jimmy Hopkins, unknown. Peter Kowalski, alive. Damon West, alive. Yuri Karamazov, I think I butchered that, but he's dead. Zoe Taylor, alive. Kirby Olsen, missing. Trent Northwick is presumed dead because only his scalp was found. Sorry I butchered Yuri Karamazov's name, but he's already been butchered in this format, so we'll get on with the video now. So first off, let's start with the click leaders. So here we have Russell Northrup, Johnny Vincent, Ted Thompson, Ernest Jones, and Darby Harrington. Let's go through them from the clicks. Let's talk about this. The first one we're going to talk about is Ernest Jones. Do we think he could be the killer? Obviously not. He's fucking dead. All right, next. <laughs> Darby Harrington, could he be the killer? I'm going to say no, because due to the fact that him and Jimmy were both supposedly kidnapped and then found later on by Mr. Galloway, I'm going to assume that they outran the killer. So I'm going to say that Darby Harrington is most definitely not the killer. Easy as that. Johnny Vincent, he's alive. And let me tell you why Johnny Vincent is probably a really good theory on why I think he could be the killer. Here's the thing. Johnny Vincent has been known to be crazy throughout the entirety of the first Bullworth game. Like, he's been sent to the lunatic asylum, but it's mainly just over the love of his girlfriend, Lola. But sometimes love can hurt. So I'm just going to say this right now. As of right now, Ernest and Darby are on my definite nope list as the killer. So I have a nope list for the who I think is the killer. Do I think they're the killer? There's a no, there's a maybe, and there's a yes. They are on the no side. Johnny is on the maybe. We're going to put him in the maybe category. Next up, we have Ted Thompson. He's dead, so we're going to move on from that. And Russell Northrup is alive. What do we say about Russell Northrup? Well, I'm actually going to confirm him to be not the killer. Because, you know, even with all those other people that I just listed being dead, here's the thing. Wade was found to be dead. And I don't think Russell would kill his own guy. Like, why would he do that? It just doesn't seem to be in his character. He seems to be protective of his clip. So I would say Russell is a no. Now, surprisingly, the only click leader that is vacant from this is Edgar Munson, but we'll get into him a little bit more later. Alright, the next people I want to get into are the main characters, Jimmy, Pete, and Gary. So, obviously we know Pete and Jimmy are not the killers, because Jimmy outran the killer and the stalker. Pete, we know, is not the killer either, because he posts about on Twitter how much he's frightened that the killer thinks he's going to be next. He keeps saying that posters around him are put all over town. He thinks that he may be the next victim of this killer. So unless Pete is bullshitting everyone on Twitter, I, I don't think he's going to be the killer. But let's talk about the other one. Gary. Now, here's my stance on this. Jimmy is a definite no in the category, and Pete is a definite no in my opinion. But, could Gary be our killer? Well, I was thinking about putting him in the yes category. Because Gary is a megalomaniac, obsessed with power, and he is known to have psychotic tendencies. But, I thought about it, and I thought, you know what, no. I'm going to put him in the no category. Because while he may be the killer, I think it'd just be recycled. Like, we already have Gary as the main antagonist of the first game, and if there was a second game and the killer was the second game's premise, would we really like to see Gary again as the main bad guy? I'd like them to spice up things a little bit. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong, I actually really like Gary Smith. Da undoubtedly, in my opinion, arguably he is probably the best Rockstar Games antagonist, but I'd like to see something new with this whole thing. Give us something new and unspeakable with this killer, this bore stalker. So in my opinion, I'm going to put him in the no category because I don't want Gary to be the killer, because it just feel recycled in my opinion. Alright, now we're going to get into the girls of Bullworth, and I'm just going to get this out of the way. Um, hold on one second. Um, 
Hello? Okay, sorry I'm back, but to get back to the girls of Bullworth, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna give this right of the way. Beatrice, Pinky, Mandy, and Zoe are definite no's. For one thing, we don't have enough information on why Beatrice and Pinky would want to be killers. Like, they seem like really sweet, innocent people. Granted, Pinky's a bit of a bitch, and she kind of shows that she's a little bit crazy. But I think it's boy crazy. Not necessarily, you know, crazy crazy. Kind of like how Johnson's kind of girl crazy, but I'm going to leave her in the no category. Same with Beatrice. I don't feel like she'd be a psychotic killer, but you never know. Mandy, however, was given a concussion by this supposed stalker, so I'm going to leave her off the list too. Zoe is kind of weird though, but I don't feel like Zoe would be the one killing anyone at Bullworth. J Jimmy and Zoe do end up together, and if Jimmy leaves at the end of the first game to go to a summer camp... I hate my fucking phone. But if Jimmy does leave at the end of the first game to go to some sort of summer camp, I would assume Zoe might go with him because Zoe doesn't really have anyone as far as the game shows us, and they fall in love with each other and are together. So I don't think Zoe would go behind Jimmy's back trying to who's trying to investigate who this stalker is and kill people. But let's talk about the other girl that we haven't talked about yet, Lola. Lola, as far as the thing on Twitter goes, the whole ARG, Lola has been given questioning by the Bullworth police and a lot of the greasers think that she may be responsible for something. Granted, I don't know what to think about this, but it has been confirmed that Peanut has been killed by possibly Johnny. Now, it's not been confirmed who did it, but Johnny did get mad at Jimmy because he thought Jimmy might have been responsible for Peanut's death, but it's not really for certain who killed Peanut. Obviously, it's the stalker, but who is the stalker? That is the main question of the hour. And Lola was questioned, but so we don't really know. Maybe Lola's working with the stalker. Maybe she's doing stuff for him so that she can be spared. Who knows? So those are the girls, really, I, I think I could talk about. And I don't really think any of them have anything to do with anything. And really, we could include Christy and Angie on the list, but really, they're kind of boring. Like, how just... How disappointed would it how disappointed would you be if you figured out that Christy or Angie, two girls that we don't really associate as being main characters, were the killer in the end? For one thing, Angie is comatose. Christy's alive, but I wouldn't imagine her being the killer. It just it wouldn't be satisfying. Now let's talk about the individual characters of each individual clique. So let's start with the nerds. Do I think the nerds could be responsible for the killings? I don't think so. Ernest is dead, but that doesn't really mean anything. Maybe one of the nerds was tired of how he led things and wanted to kill him. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't make any sense. Algie's alive, sure, but Bucky is missing. So I don't think that the nerds would have any other reason to cause any sort of havoc. Especially since Bucky is missing. I don't think one of the nerds would kidnap Bucky and, you know, hurt him in any way. I, 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 I don't think he is anyone on the nerds are the killer let's talk about the preppies so preppies are kind of the same thing you know gord is alive i guess that's okay but darby went missing now this is kind of interesting because maybe the preps were also tired of how he was doing things and wanted to hurt him maybe biff we'll have to figure out soon what happens to biff but as of right now i'm gonna say no on the preps just a definite no, because kind of like how Bucky is missing, Tad Spencer is dead. He is dead, so I don't think that really the preps would have anything to do with it. Especially since Darby was being harassed and chased by the stalker, and Tad's dead. I don't know what to expect. You know, with the list, Gord is alive, but who knows, really. Moving on to the Greasers, Johnny is alive, Lola is alive, and Hal is alive, but that leaves us with one other person that is confirmed dead, which is Peanut. I talked about Peanut earlier, he is confirmed to be dead. Now, Greasers are kind of weird on this, because Hal is alive, and Lola is alive, and was questioned, and is right now being considered one of the, you know, s suspects of being the stalker. So who knows? Same with Johnny, in my opinion. I think Johnny needs to be put up there in question, too. 
if I had to say anything, I'm going to leave the greaser silent for now, but I'm going to say that some of them could be in the maybe. It's weird that Hal is alive too, Johnny, and Lola. So here's what I have to say about that. Maybe the greasers are all working together to get rid of, you know, some of the other greasers. Maybe they don't like some of the greasers, but I'm going to actually, instead of putting on the maybe, I know I'm kind of all over the place with this, guys. This is kind of like weird, but I'm going to put the greasers on a no. I don't think the greasers are definite killers. No. So, now let's get on with the jocks. Now, the jocks are very interesting. I know I've said that a lot. I'm going to keep saying that. But the jocks are actually very interesting because the jocks have had the most things happen to them. Take a look. Ted Thompson is dead. Yuri Karamazov is dead. And Kirby is missing. Now, on top of that, Mandy was given a concussion. So someone must have it really out for the jocks. Which could lead you to believe that it is possibly the nerds. We don't know. We don't know. But the thing is, I, I do have a, a theory on why I think the jocks are being targeted the most. And let's get into that. We'll get into that just now. But just take a look. I, I, do I think it's the jocks? No, I think the jocks are actually innocent when it comes to this. So I could have actually been wrong on this. Maybe the bullies have had the most happen to them, considering Trent has been dead. He's dead. His scalp was found. And on top of that, Wade was killed. So there's two people right there, and plus Russell's alive, which just makes me think clear as day that I don't think Russell is the killer or anyone of the bullies is the killer. The bullies tend to stick together and tend to, you know, love each other. They're basically like brothers. So I don't think that they would be able to or want to kill each other unless something terrible happened. But let's just assume that nothing terrible happened. I'm just going to say that it's not the bullies whatsoever at all. That leaves us with the townies. Now the townies are kind of all over the place. Zoe is confirmed alive, but as far as I'm concerned on that Bullworth campus status, Zoe is the only townie on that list that is confirmed to be anything. She's alive. Now this leads me to think about Edgar. What happened to Edgar? Could Edgar be the killer? He's shown to have a personal vendetta against Bullworth Academy and its inhabitants. So maybe he could be the killer. I'm going to put Edgar in the maybe category. I should have put Edgar back at the beginning with the click leaders, but ah, ah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, really? So I'm going to say that Edgar is a maybe, just because he has shown tendencies to hate Boar students and does have a vendetta against him, as, you know, seen in uh, the um, showdown of the planet. I couldn't think of the fucking name. So I'm going to say Edgar is a maybe. Okay, now that's really it. That's all I can really talk about with the students and the schoolgoers in Bully. Now it's time to move on to another important part of this whole list of suspects. The faculty. Let's start things off with Dr. Krabblesnitch. I'm just going to say Dr. Krabblesnitch, I'm going to put him in the maybe category because honestly, how cool would it be to see him be the killer? Like, it would make sense. Like, maybe he's fed up with, like fixing naughty little boys and so-called cleaning their noses that he just snaps one day and just starts murdering fucking children who knows anything can happen the possibilities are endless as for right now he stays in the maybe category just because i think it'd be awesome to see him be the killer so yeah next up we have mr burton mr burton got fired at the end of bully granted you can still see him around the school grounds occasionally in free roam but let's just assume for the sake of bully 2 and the boar stalker he is fired. He's no longer teaching gym or physical education at Bullworth. He's not training the football team, nothing. He's fired. So that would give him, I guess, a little bit of revenge that he'd want to get on some of the students. But then again, most of the jocks are being killed off. So it doesn't really fit in with this whole thing, because he is the football coach. He should love these jocks. So I'm going to put him on the no category. How about Mrs. Carvin, the librarian? I guess she could have a reason to kill some of the nerds, like Ernest, maybe because they're taking over her library to, you know, make plans to take down the football team, but I doubt it. She never really shows anything of her being psychotic. Granted, that doesn't really mean anything. They can hide it pretty well with psychopaths, but 
you know, we don't really know her too well for her to be a psychopath. So, I'm just gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, she's not the killer. Miss Danvers might be interesting. Like, what if Crabble Snitch was killed by this stalker and Miss Danvers wanted to get revenge? And maybe she killed the stalker and became the new stalker. Or maybe Crabble Snitch was driven depressed and mad by these kids that are so mean and have dirty noises. Noises. Dirty noses. So Miss Danvers wants to teach them a lesson and help her Crabble Boo. But I'm going to say no on Miss Danvers. I'm just, I'm stretching it. I'm reaching at this point. So I'm just looking for anything on every, any other character. Edna. I don't know. And it's kind of like, I don't know. Like she, she shows hatred towards the kids, but the most she wants to do is spit in their food. So I guess the maybe category, she looks like someone who's kind of deranged. I guess we'll give her a maybe. Galloway, no, unless he drinks something that makes him hallucinate and kill kids or drink so much that he does kill kids but no because he's the one that saves Jimmy and Darby so no Hattrick I, I'm gonna say no too because as much as he is a little prick he basically wants to help the kids by keeping them safe from a drunk like Galloway so I'm gonna say no because he does show signs that he wants to protect and help the children not kill them Dear God, uh, next one is Ma uh, Mr. Matthews. I certainly hope he's not the killer because, you know, he's too boring. And on top of that, he hasn't really been given any, like, character development. You only really see him in the geography class, so I'm going to say no. Mrs. McRae, the nurse? No. She helps people. She's going to be there to protect them, to heal them. No, she's not the killer. There's no way. No, 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 no. Neil is, I don't know, you know, Neil is like the guy that's like into the conspiracy theories and stuff, so I, I figured he'd probably be on the run from the Bulwer stalker. Maybe he'd be like running away. He hears about it and he's like, ah, screw my kids, I'm just, I'm leaving. So I'm going to put him in the no category for right now. For right now, we'll see how it escalates. Peabody, no. She just patrols the hallways. If anything, she's going to protect the kids. Definite no. All right, definite no. You know, Dr. Watts kind of got that Walter White shit going on. You know, he's old, he's got the bald hair, he's got the glasses, he's got the chemistry laboratories. You know, he may be crazy. Maybe he cooks up a batch of fucking meth or some shit, and he, uh, he, uh, he's the fucking killer. I don't know, I'm just reaching right now. So, uh, Dr. Watts is going to be a maybe. I'm gonna put him on the maybe, because he does show signs that he's fucking insane, but it could be because of, uh chemicals in the lab exposing his brain to chemicals so i don't know miss phillips is so sweet like why would she do it she'd be protecting the kids i could imagine her going in head first into the fucking stalker's grasp to protect kids and dying for her kids she is that kind of person all right now this is where things are going to start to get a little bit interesting we have dr slaughter the biology teacher and Here's the thing, guys. Dr. Slaughter is going in my S category because Dr. Slaughter is kind of a freak. Not only does he show signs that he's a nut and that he's crazy and brainless, <laughs> he, uh, he has fucking things in his classroom that are unspeakable human things. Uh, he has a baby in a jar, for one. He has uh, a couple skulls, I think, in jars somewhere. He has a skeleton that could be an actual human skeleton. And uh, there's a fucking child's head on the shelf in his classroom. So, uh, yeah... I'm going to say Dr. Slaughter is a, a definite maybe. He's a definite maybe. He's actually more than maybe. He's, he's going to be in the yes category. He's a definite yes. He's going to be up there. He's going to be up there. There. Now, before I get into who I think the actual killer is and talk about a little bit more signs, I'm going to talk about the non-click students like Ray or Constantinos or Trevor or any of those kids, you know? Even the ones like Sheldon and... Uh, Gloria and uh, Melody and Karen. Well, here's the thing. Sheldon uh, was found severely injured with missing fingers that were sent to Pete. So I don't think Sheldon is the killer. And uh, the other thing is Ray was killed. His head was cut off. But we'll get more into Ray here in a second. Uh, and then Gloria is also confirmed to be dead. 
So that pretty much confirms I don't think that um, they would be the killer. So yeah, let's get into the juicy ending. The juicy steakhouse from Juicy Juicy Outback. Juicy, I'm Juicy Australians. Juicy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to decode who the boar stalker is. In my opinion, who do I think the boar stalker is? Ladies and gentlemen, it is. Mr. Luntz. So let's get into this whole Mr. Luntz thing. First off, I want to go back to Ray. Because Ray, the n norm kid, you know, the non-click student, was found dead. He was decapitated in the school's basement. His head was found with the dirty sock in his mouth. And what is the place that the janitor is known to have like a secret location in, to be living in? The school's basement. <laughs> I just blew your minds. And here's what I think. You know, I think Mr. Luntz is probably the killer. Because there's a couple things I want to get through here. There's a lot of signs pointing towards him being the killer. Most notably... His voice lines, his dialogue that he has in-game just suggests that he has some creepy shit going on behind the scenes. Take a listen for yourself. Careful now, Jimmy. Don't anger me. I will beat you blue and black! You have no idea how much I enjoy this. I will make you squeal with pain! I can really make you hurt! Do you want me to... <laughs> hurt you? I am, in fact. <laughs> allowed to beat the student. Bad things <laughs> happen to children who stay out late. And then on top of that, we also have Christy who says this at one point in the game. Did you hear there's fresh blood on the floor of the hole? So yeah, those are three signs pointing towards Mr. Luntz being the killer. His voice lines, Christy's voice lines, and Ray's death. But also, on top of that, we have him living in the school's basement, which isn't really confirmed. But, you know, the fresh blood and, uh, you know, uh, Ray's head and his voice lines, like, I, you don't know what I'm up to, Dr. Crabblesnitz. <laughs> you know, he, he could really be a fucking psychopath. On top of that, we also have two other bits of, like, information, I guess, which is the uh, movie theater in uh, Old Bull with Vale. Um, if you go to the movie theater, there are two movies playing. Besides Sequel the Movie, we also have posters for two movies. The Janitor Massacre, Mr. Luntz is the school janitor at Bullworth Academy. And we have another movie called Creepy Watcher. Now, if you look at Mr. Luntz's figure, if you look at what he looks like, his hair is parted down the middle, kind of. Similar to the way the Creepy Watcher looks on the movie poster. So, that is why I think Mr. Luntz is the killer. So, I'm going to take Dr. Schlatter off the list and basically take off all these students because Mr. Luntz, in my opinion, is the definitive Bulwer stalker. He doesn't like children. It shows in his dialogue. I think he has a reason in his own way of why he wants to kill the students. And if it was revealed, it would make all the Bullworth or the Bully fans go nuts because they'd know how crazy that son of a bitch is. And, uh, you know, maybe in the second game, if this was the actual plot of the second game, you could have um, Mr. Luntz be like uh, more of a prominent character, you know? Like make him uh, have more voice dialogue, and make him, like, a main character of Bully 2, like, Jimmy questions him, but he kind of goes to the side a little bit, but he comes back every once in a while, and, like, addresses some more killings, it'd be more interesting, so, yeah, that's my whole sense on it. In conclusion, guys, I do believe that Mr. Luntz is the Bulwer Stalker, so I'm going to leave that at that, but I want to know who do you guys think is the Bulwer Stalker, what do you guys think, and would you guys like to see Bully 2 be about the Bulwer Stalker? What would you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Gmod Scary Maps with Epic Pikmin. It should be fun, it should be great, should be awesome, should be amazing. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later, have a great night, and love you all. Mm -hmm.